Imagine if you could feed your newborn baby all day long. Hundreds of small meals spread out over the course of the day. Just think how that child might grow if you could physically or technically do that. Well, that's what we're doing here with crops. These are PAP's new large volume pulsators. They emit more water per pulse than previous models. The pulsators are connected to commercially available drip lines, effectively converting them into pulsating drip lines. As a continuous low flow of water amasses inside the pulsator, pressure is built up. Eventually, it and the water release at once. This is a pulse operating a drip line. Combining a pulsator with a pressure compensated non leakage line will ensure uniform distribution along the row. The amount of water coming to the pulsator will be evenly divided among the drippers during each pulse. And the ultra low flow rates mean the grower can irrigate up to 24 hours a day, giving all the water that's needed in a day, not an hour. Ofra Klein is using pulsators to grow ornamental peppers at a Ministry of Agriculture sponsored field study in southern Israel. For her, what's important is that the branches grow aesthetically and to a certain length. Using the pulsator, she says, they did, and better than she expected. In general, it turned out that a lot less water, a third of the amount of water we normally give, was given using the pulsators. The height of the branches was great, not excessive, so there was less trimming needed, and thus less work in arranging the branches. And of course, it means we spend less money, because water is very expensive today. And also, our water usage is capped, so it frees up the water for me for other uses. And if there's less water flow being used per line, then many more lines, multiple more lines, can be run at once. That minimizes infrastructure and again spells savings. So why does it work? Dr. Molly Sachs is an agronomist at the Ministry of Agriculture. She specializes in irrigation and is overseeing this experiment. Dr. Sachs says using the pulsator system ensures the soil stays moist throughout the day. When we usually irrigate, a lot of the water is not used by the plant, but it goes down to the depth. I would say over 60 percent, even in drip irrigation, of the water is, is lost. The whole root system can only absorb a small amount of water. The pulsator changes the story by just giving a tiny bit of water to the roots, but constantly it's like really spoon feeding it and it gives it very good conditions so that uh, as long as it has enough of the water with the minerals that it needs and its nutrients, then it, it reacts very well, it grows accordingly. And we saw that there was vigorous plant growth almost throughout the whole uh, growing period. I think it has the very good potential for any crop that uses drip irrigation. At PIP, we believe that a continuous flow of water, ultra-low volumes, small meals, if you will, spread out over the course of the day are best for the crops, best for the soil, best for the environment, and best for the grower. And using the pulsator is the best way to do it. We're proud to introduce PIP's revolutionary new pulsating nanodrip technology.